what's good welcome back to the channel guys in today's video going to be covering my town hall 13 finally decided to push this account into legends league so going to be showing you my legends league triple on a town hall 14 and then a couple attacks that i did today on my way to legends league the army composition we're using today is zap hydra and i have six dragons six dragon riders one baby dragon, four balloons, two zap, three total rage, five total free spells, two archers, a yeti, and a pekka out of the blimp. I started using the pekka because of a challenge last season, and I actually like the pekka in there, so I've started using it more often. And I obviously don't have a maxed army because my king is only 55 and my warden is 36, but I want to leave this account in Legends League because it's going to force me to use eight attacks a day, which I am currently not doing. If you guys like today's video, smash that like button for me. If you guys aren't subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe to the channel. Turn on those notification bells so you know when these videos are coming. We'll get right into the action. All right, guys. In this first replay, we have the Town Hall 14 that we saw in Legends League. And we were able to pick up some success uh, didn't really need the zap spells. Both both sweepers were actually facing the opposite way I wanted to bring my army in from. So the zap spells were really just to take out the sweeper that was in the middle of the base. That way I didn't have to worry about it at all. And this was King Queen right there at 10 o'clock. Baby Dragon at 12 and the main army from 10.30 to 11 right down the middle. And the one thing I like about the P.E.K.K.A. is just the amount of damage it does to the town hall and it also lives a little longer than yetis and it you know picks up a little bit of a tank obviously the double yeti is probably better <laughs> but i uh i started using the pekka during a challenge last season and i just never changed it so you know it was actually kind of nice against town hall 13s to have it in there because the poison or the there was no poison from the town hall it was a freeze and it did a little bit of damage, but it wasn't as dominating as the Town Hall 14 Poison is. So, my P.E.K.K.A. lived a lot longer in the Town Hall 13 attacks. I would probably switch to two Yetis, though, now that I'm in Legends League. But as you can see, I mean, we we pretty much smashed this base. I mean, it was a minute 30 attack. Still have my Queen ability. And, you know, we have no pets because we're Town Hall 13. So... It, you know, not the greatest built base, but with the Town Hall 13 troops, I got Dragon less one less level. I got the Dragon Rider one less level. Don't have any pets, don't have max heroes, and we destroyed that base. All right, on this second attack, we use the Zap right away to take out the Sweeper that's going to affect our main army as we push in. Both Zaps were kind of going to be, an, you know, a problem, but... I wanted to take out the zap that was pointed towards the eagle. That way, we wouldn't have to worry about that at all. And this is pretty similar to attacks that we use at Town Hall 14. We're going to go King Queen and then a Baby Dragon on the other side for a quick funnel. I actually deployed the Royal Champion early on this one. And you'll see me do that more often at Town Hall 13. And then the dragons are going to push through all of these defenses. Freeze down on the single target Inferno to keep some of these dragons alive. And you can see the, you know, the P.E.K.K.A. got out. And now the P.E.K.K.A. is going to tank the Expos for the Royal Champion, which is going to allow the Royal Champion to get up here and do some damage on some of these defenses before she inevitably goes down. So P.E.K.K.A. lived through the Town Hall Blast, broke through the wall even after the Blimp did a little bit of damage to it, and then got out in front of the RC and other troops and was tanking defenses. Um, something that the Yeti wouldn't have done because the Yeti would have already been gone at that point. But... I will probably switch to two Yetis just because I'm in Legends League now and it's probably better for me to have the two Yetis just to make sure I could secure the Town Hall. Because Town Hall 14 has a little bit more health and it can be a bigger problem than a Town Hall 13. But overall, um, we ended up destroying this base. Still had three heroes alive, still had the Queen ability at the end and a Dragon and Baby Dragon as well. All right, on this last replay, wanted to show the value that you can get from these zaps on some of these attacks because we got both sweepers. 
which is incredible for two spell space. You don't have to worry about a sweeper at all the entire attack. And this one's kind of an anti two box style base. So king queen at 12. Dragons right down the middle with the baby dragon on the other side for the quick funnel. Did pop an early ward ability and found a tornado trap. But you can see I'm not afraid to invest freezes in this. We're just going to freeze everything down early. And I froze the town hall as well. That way there was no inferno blast going at my dragons. But I'm not afraid to, you know, freeze down infernos and freeze down things as we enter the main part of the base. Um, it's just going to play better effect later on to keep these dragons and dragon riders healed up to the max that we possibly can. And I'm also, you know, not, I'm not hesitant to throw it on my RC a little early and a Town Hall 13 attack just because this, the army does need a little bit of support, especially against Town Hall 14s going in through the initial part of the attack and, um, going to play more value at the beginning of the attack than the end of the attack with a Town Hall 13 army. So we're just going to clean up the rest of this base going to take a little longer just because we had to go get this elixir collector over here but this box style base was pretty smashed had three dragons left one dragon rider and the queen and warden alive as well all right guys that's going to do it for today's video hope you guys enjoyed the content as always appreciate you guys stopping on an everyday basis and supporting the channel super excited to actually push my town hall 13 into legends league Kind of curious how far we can actually push and how high we can finish in Legend League uh, with a Town Hall 13 in this current meta. Put a comment down in the section below what you guys think we could finish and what's your best finish with a Town Hall 13 in this current meta in Legends League. If you guys like today's video, smash that like button for me. If you guys aren't subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe to the channel. Turn on those notification bells so you know when these videos are coming. We'll catch you next time.